Aloha! Do you like sweet potato haupia pie? Yes, it's so delicious. Me too, I love it. And do you ever wonder where the sweet potato or uala in Hawaiian actually comes from? Yes, I wonder so much. Well, let's find out. Let's follow this uala right here in the pie all the way from the farm to our forks. A value chain is the journey of how a product gets from where it is produced, like the farm or garden, to where it gets eaten, your plate. Sometimes the value chain is short, like harvesting uwala from your garden and steaming it at home. Sometimes the value chain is long, like if a farmer grows uwala, sells it to a grocery store where a baker buys it, bakes it into sweet potato haupia pie, and then sells it to you. All right. Let's head to the beginning of this value chain to meet Uala farmers on Hawaii Island. Hui, aloha. Uh, I'm Hea Aloha Mele, and we're standing here in the Ahupua'a of Puanui. Puanui is one of 33 Ahupua'a that comprise the Kohala Dryland Agricultural Field System. And this area and this aina acted as a breadbasket for our kupuna. The main crop that was coming out of here was uala or sweet potato, and its companion plant, as we would term it today, um, was ko or sugarcane. And so here we get to learn about the innovativeness of our kupuna and our ancestors as they cultivated successfully across such a large span of land. We know that there is probably about 200 varieties of uwala. We're also well aware that it could be the same varieties, just grown in different areas and given a different name. Everything that happens in our culture is very place specific and land based. And so depending on the environment that it was cultivated in, it could have a, a different name um, that maybe is in honor of its certain characteristic that it took on or that it adapted uh, in that area. After harvesting, farmers deliver their uwala to the market. In this case, the farmer is selling to a farmer cooperative and food hub that they're a member of. A farmer co-op is a business owned by many farmers working together. A food hub collects locally made foods in one place, making it easier for eaters to buy and producers to sell them. By working cooperatively, farmers can reduce their individual costs for processing, storing, and marketing their produce. There's one last stop to follow this uwala on its value chain journey, the kitchen. Hi, my name is Marcus Lage. I work for Flick as their executive chef for Command Man Schools. Today we're going to be making some sweet potato mochi. For the mochi, we need to mash this beautifully steamed, peeled sweet potato. So it looks kind of like soft Play-Doh. Yeah, this is kind of like the best part of my job, getting to play with food. I really like using the sweet potato in this recipe, in this dish, because it grows really well at my house. Yeah, and I like sweet potatoes. It's like candy. The most common commercially grown uwala in Hawaii today is Okinawan sweet potatoes. But why are they so purple? Their purple coloring actually comes from anthocyanins, powerful antioxidants which help to guard against heart disease and cancers. So this uwala haupia pie connects us to chefs, a co-op, farmers, and the long history of uwala farming in Hawaii. Mahalo for joining us on this journey from farmer's fields to ono meals. Now let's eat.